When you run a mass spectrum, all you get is the ratio of the masses involved. So if you had carbon to hydrogen ratio of 1 to 4, that could actually be a number of things. That could be CH4, C2H8, or C3H12. Each of those molecules has a 1 to 4 ratio. The mass spectrum wouldn't distinguish between each of those if you had a combustion reaction with oxygen. Of course, the mass spectrum of the molecule itself would have a different total molar mass. So you can distinguish these by their total mass, but not the ratio of carbon to hydrogen in the molecule itself. We talk about the ratio of atoms in a molecule, the simplest possible ratio is the empirical formula. So the empirical formula CH4 has many possible molecular formulas, CH4, C2H8, and C3H12. CH2, another empirical formula, can have several different molecular formulas. And CH, a one-to-one -one ratio of carbon to hydrogen, has different possible ratios. Individual molecules we name, methane for instance, is CH4. The simplest empirical formula is also the molecular formula. For ethylene, the simplest empirical formula is CH2, but ethylene molecules are C2H4, twice the molar mass. Acetylene, CH, is the empirical formula, but the actual molecule, C2H2. So we need to distinguish between empirical and molecular formulas, and we do that by the total mass gives us the molecular formula, while the ratio of atoms gives us the empirical formula.